Hello everyone and welcome to week eight. Um, welcome back. Hopefully everyone had a nice week off. Uh, time to recuperate and get back in the swing of things. Um, so this week is week eight. Uh, we're going to discuss, uh, I'm going to kind of go through the app a little bit and kind of give you guys a good idea of what we're going to be working on. So this week's app is designed using a date picker on a, on a tablet. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to use a tablet instead of the phone. Um, so one of the key things is in a book, um, it references, and the thing about the book I don't like sometimes, it's always going to be behind what the most recent is. So like on page two, 305, it references to use the API 13 Android 3.2 Honeycomb for tablets. Well, that's been so long since that's been used. So I will definitely recommend not using that. So um, for example, here is what I use, and it worked fine. Uh, let me pull it up here. AVD Manager, and I, okay, this one right here, Nexus 9 API 23. So one of the things that you want to do is you want to create a new environment um, and create, you could go with this one, you could go with a different one, that's fine. Um, I'm using this one, and also when I pull up my, uh, um, when we go through the uh, activity main area, you also want to set it in there when you're coding because a lot of it will probably be defaulted already to the phone versus the tablet. Um, so this week is going to be a little, I, I guess that kind of goes through page 305 to 308. It talks about establishing that, but, you know, just create an AVD and you'll be fine. Um, pretty straightforward, um, which <laughs> I'm sure we've already did a, a bunch of this. Um so one of the things is an app, you know, you create your app. Um, let's see here. Uh, you're going to need an image. Um, so mine's around Guns N' Roses. Um, so you're going to want to come up with an image. So you're going to add your image and your drawable. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking is you'll have a, a tablet. On the left side of the tablet, you'll have an um, image, um, some type of image. Um, it's kind of like if you look on page... Well, if you look on page 314, you'll see that they're doing that with a sailboat. So they're setting up a tile on the left-hand side, and they're doing a sailboat. But you look, if you look on page 315, on the right-hand side, they have, um, it looks like a, a, a title, and then some text below it. And then below that is going to be information on your, your date selection. Pretty straightforward stuff. So in this example, Guns N' Roses is going to be on my left side. So I'd say... Start with your app by you know, finding your image that you want to use. So whatever you want to use, because this, this week's app is going to be based off of what you want to do, um, not off of what I want to do. Mine's around tickets. Um, so you have to do something with a date. It doesn't have to be tickets in general. It could be um, something else that uses a date, usually some type of event, but it might be a birthday or, or an anniversary or something like that. Um, you could do that. You do what you want to do. That's up to you. Um, so let's kind of get into, uh, show you a little of my layout. I'm going to activity main. This is the other thing that I mentioned is when you're in the main area here, you want to make sure that you have the one selected for tablet. If not, it's going to display it differently. Um, so as you see here on mine, I have my image, which is related to this guy right over here. Um, I have my title or my title up here. Um, I have my, um, t or this is my title, that's my, uh, um, at the top here, menu. Um, so I have my title, Guns N' Roses Reunion Tour. Um, select the desired date for tickets. And then I have some brief information down here about come out and visit our reunion tour. Um, now, I don't know if it's going to be in PNC Park, I'm just guessing. Um, so what I had to do here is stuff that we've already did. So we're going into our strings. I had set up some resources. You know, there's other ways of doing it, but typing it out to me is just the easiest way. I set up my app name called Guns N' Roses. Um, I set up my title, which is called uh, Guns N' Roses Reunion Tour. Um, the text description, um, ages, button date, select the desired date. So all that information is just basic information. So if I go in there and change stuff around, let's see here. Second, so if we change stuff around, I could change it around and say, um, uh, let's see here, just 
we'll just say Guns N' Roses tour. You know, just make it pretty simple. Uh, it'll ask me save. Look, it changes it to tour. So these are things that we've already did before. Um, so I'll keep it a reunion tour. Because I have this information related to the Java. So I go back to reunion tour. Um, if I come into my main activity, I have all my uh, relationship between here and the text so it allows me to um, um, easily, and this is stuff that we've already gone through. So um, the couple different things that we're going to change here is when we import our, our uh, libraries, we're going to import the date format and um, we're going to import the calendar. So this will allow us to use the calendar uh, when we're selecting our date. Um, main activity, activity on create. These are things that we've already kind of did before, so it's nothing new. We're you know this right here. We're using our text view. We're just this is just what I'm saying is we're using relationship between the text um, strings that we have set up and and the and the values on the on the app itself. Um, as you see down here, I'm setting up a calendar, creating a new class, just like we did before with other things. Uh, we're doing the date format. Um, below here, we're setting the date. Uh, one of the things I'm doing differently is we have text over here um, that you don't see right here. It's kind of it's hidden, and what it's doing here is we're setting we're saying reservation dot set text. So we're going to come up as once that, once the user makes a selection on a date, we're going to say your tickets are available on that date. We're going to pick that date up there, and I'll show you how this works. Um, so let's actually run this and see how this works. All right, let's see, new source found. Oh, okay, just give me a second here. All right, we're back. I just had to make a change. I left something out. Right, we'll hit OK because I chose my API 23. That's what I wanted. All right, so it's going to come up here. As you see here, the, I don't even think all this fits on here, to be honest with you. But yeah, because the screen is pretty big, and I'm running a 27 inch screen, so you can imagine how large it is. All right, it's coming up slowly. All right, all right, not sure what happened there. All right, so we have our Guns N' Roses, Guns N' Roses, our application, our image is over here. So I click the date. Um, I'm assuming that the date is in the summertime, so I'll say the 13th. Hit OK, and blah. There you go. Your tickets are available on July 13th. One thing is I'll recommend is when you're displaying your text down here, you might want to use a smaller font because um, in some of the examples in the book, um, it shows that they're using a large font, a lot of information, and um, by messing around with that, it's going to cause some problems, and you're not going to be able to... Uh, be able to do an app that you want to do um, the way that you want to do it. So this week's assignment is going to be um, on page 339, case project 86, create your own tablet app. So you're going to create an app on a topic of your own choice. Use two buttons. The first button allows the user to select the date. The second button allows the user to select the time. Well, we don't, we don't want to do time. We're not worried about time. We're just worried about the date. So we're just basically going to do a mirror image of what I did here. You're going to have your image on the side. Um, up here, you're going to have whatever the name of your app is, your title, um, some information here on selected dates or whatever. Um, put some literature here, all through strings, and then you're going to have your button right here. So you're going to have this guy right here is just a button. It creates a date. And then this right here is another button that displays the date. So if I chose the 21st, then that information changes. Pretty straightforward. So hopefully you've got something out of this video. Um, looking at my code again, you could probably screenshot this to kind of get an example of what I did here. Um, let's see here. So if you have any questions, uh, you know what to do. Email me, um, post it to the discussion board, so forth. All right, have a good day. Thanks for watching.